From Washington, this is the TV News.TV for Friday, April 29th, 2011. Brought to you by the Turner Alumni Mega Celebration, happening in Atlanta this November. For more information, hit the Turner Alumni Celebration fan site on Facebook. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and let me just say straight away, you can't stop the NBA playoffs. You can only hope to contain them. Now, here to amplify and explain is Eric Macklin and the Sports TV News. That's right, Jeff. You can't hope to do anything but contain the NBA playoffs on TNT. Here are the numbers you need to know. First off, the ratings for the playoffs on TNT this year are the best ever in the history of the network. Okay? It's the best on cable in 27 years. Okay? We don't need to go into the nitty-gritty of the numbers. They're just all up, and they're all up dramatically. Number two, even better, the numbers are up dramatically in the most affluent demographics plus 100000 and plus $125,000 in income per year. It's incredible. Double-digit increases. We're not talking 10 20%. We're talking 60 70% year-over-year year for TNT. The last point, why is this happening? Well, social media is blowing up the NBA. The other deal is, is like the NHL playoffs, the NBA playoffs have all of the traditional good teams in, in this year. The Knicks were back for the first time in a few years, so the New York market was back. Everything's firing on all cylinders for the NBA. They've got all the great personalities. And what else is doing all of this great work for the NBA ratings-wise? Let's go back to last spring. Remember LeBron James and the decision? Back then, Jeff and I told everybody that it was one of the best things that we'd ever seen in terms of reality television. And it's clear to me that that one act by LeBron James focused casual NBA fans and casual sports fans on the NBA like never before. Now they're riveted to see whether or not the Heat can win a championship and they want to be there all the time. Well, everyone here on planet Earth knows that today is the day of the royal wedding. Let's have a little bit of fun, okay? Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana's wedding drew 750 million TV viewers worldwide. So we ask you right here, right now, how many viewers on TV and on the web will the William and Kate affair draw? Okay, you can respond on our the TV News.TV Facebook page, and the closest period, not without going over, gets this awesome, albeit slightly used, WKRP first season DVD. Good luck! Saturday, November 12th, the Turner Alumni Group Celebration happens at the Hilton Atlanta. All Turner employees, past and present, are invited to join special honored guest Ted Turner, host Bill Tush, plus all of your Turner colleagues and pals for a mega event that's been three and a half decades in the making. For information and registration, head on over to the Turner Alumni Group Celebration page on Facebook. Huh? Oh! The beta research is in! The beta research is in! <laughs> yeah. Cable networks wait breathlessly for this stuff each and every year so they can thump their chests in the trades. But understand that beta research is only an indicator of general popularity of cable networks and in no way reflects actual viewing levels or patterns. So here are the top 10 most popular cable networks as voted on by nearly 6,000 consumers in an internet survey. Cooking Channel, DIY, and Science all tied for number 10, 9, and 8. History International came in at number 7. Nat Geo Channel and HGTV tied at 5 and 6. Number 4 was Discovery ID. 3 was Food Network. And tied at numero uno, History and Discovery. You see what I mean? The ratings leaders, USA, TNT, Fox News, TBS, and ESPN, yeah, they weren't even in the top 10. And no sports net crack the top 10, even with the explosion in sports viewership. So, there's the beta research. Chest-thumping trade ads begin in three, two, one. Future events and opportunities, brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice, get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. The TV news returns on Monday, and we're going to tell you how we'd like to broker a peace settlement between the angry mob that are ABC Soaps fans and the Ball's top executives who appear to be dug in with respect to their decision to ditch 80 years of daytime programming without a backward glance. It's going to be a fun. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. The TV News wants to connect with you on Facebook, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn. And here's how you do it. 
We told you to grab some of our officially licensed the TV news.tv swag. How are we to know that some of you actually went out and did it? Like Latino Anglo crossover voiceover guy Anthony Mendez. Nice. So be like Anthony and get your the TV news swag at this link at the TV news.tv or on the TV news.tv on Facebook. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day.